Charles and me, Jane. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, no, seriously, you guys. Wow, I mean, that was one of the most amazing pieces I've ever seen on the show. We take 20 of the top dancers. They could be good in just one style, or they could do several different dance styles. It doesn't really matter. What gets you to that point and into that top 20 as well as being extraordinary in one division. It was really amazing, and Jessica, you stepped up to the plate once again. I think you people secretly, right you know, want to dance. Wherever you're at an event, a function, a wedding, charity event, and there's someone out there dancing, dancing well, what does everybody do? You're watching. Even people that are sitting there just wishing that they knew how to do it are kind of living vicariously through these dancers. What's that, Nigel? A woo-woo. Well, is there something wrong with you? Yes, it's on the hot tamale train! Tra -la, la doesn't go against the hot tamale train. The hot tamale train is really the main stable. That is something that I put a dancer on that tells me that you're going into the top 10. And if I say you have two first place tickets on this train, I think you're going to be in the finale. Mary, <laughs> was it magic for you? <laughs> it was magic! <laughs> If I say the words tra-la-la, it just means that that particular dance, the way they danced it, affected me in my heart, that it touched me, the performance that they gave. This is the first time on this show that I have really believed in this crump number. Let me tell you, it was fantastic. And apparently, I'm louder than a vacuum cleaner, louder than a rock band, and believe it or not, I'm louder than a small jet engine. <laughs> now that one kind of surprised me, I have to say. <laughs> it was hot cha-cha-cha-cha. I'm telling you. Almost it. Hot cha-cha-cha-cha.